everyone, my name is Franny Zaroshne and my presentation is on genome editing and how it is a revolutionary way to treat cardiovascular diseases. A little bit about me, I'm a rising senior from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and I'm interested in a career in pediatric medicine, where I hope to provide care for patients that come from unprivileged and underrepresented backgrounds. I'm an advisor for the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation's Teen Leaders in Philanthropy Program and a member of the Children's Health Foundation's Teen Board. I also volunteer at the University of Oklahoma's Children's Hospital, and currently I'm developing a website with my friend to raise awareness about cardiovascular diseases, and being a part of this endeavor has really allowed me to carry a better understanding of the impact cardiovascular diseases have on our lives and the ways that such illnesses can be cured. I serve as co-president of my school's Girl Up chapter and am president of my school's pre-med club as well. This presentation focuses on how genome editing, which is a modern genetic engineering method, can irrevocably alter how cardiovascular diseases are diagnosed and treated, paving the way for improving the quality of care of patients with cardiovascular diseases and illnesses that serve as risk factors for heart-related conditions. Heart diseases are the leading cause of death globally as they claim 17.9 million lives each year, and over three quarters of these deaths occur in middle and low-income countries. In the United States alone, cardiovascular diseases cause one in three deaths and the country loses $336 billion as a result. Thus, heart diseases have created a global health dilemma that impacts every corner of the world. The most common causes of heart-related illnesses include having an unhealthy diet, not being very physically active, smoking, using tobacco, or consuming alcohol. And these causes are known as behavioral risk factors because they are unhealthy behaviors that can be prevented or changed. High cholesterol is also one of the most common causes of heart-related illnesses that affects 39% of people around the world. High cholesterol is also a condition that can be genetically inherited. Currently, the most common treatments for cardiovascular diseases include medications such as statins, which lower cholesterol, and blood thinners. And while these drugs can be effective in managing symptoms, they don't really address the underlying causes of the disease. In addition, surgical procedures can provide short-term relief, but they aren't the best option for all patients, as some of these procedures can carry risks and potential complications. Improving the behavioral risk factors is also another way to treat cardiovascular diseases, but the method that I'm going to be talking about today is called gene editing. So gene editing is a method that allows scientists to make changes to the DNA by removing, adding, or replacing bases in the DNA sequence to prevent, treat, or cure a disease. Currently, CRISPR is the most popular gene editing tool that scientists use. And base editing is also a very important component of CRISPR. And there are two types of base editors, an adenine-based editor and a cytosine-based editor. So in an adenine-based editor, scientists can change the adenine base to a guanine base, which would change the protein code and then eventually change the function of the gene. And this is significant because by using base editors, scientists can convert diseased DNA bases into normal bases. CRISPR-Cas9 is truly revolutionary in the sense that CRISPR creates the possibility to directly target genetic mutations, giving potential for a cure. And by using CRISPR, researchers can develop new therapies that are more effective than current treatments. Some cardiovascular diseases are influenced by genes that increase risk when they are overactive or underactive. So by using CRISPR to silence or activate these genes, scientists might be able to reduce re disease risk or slow down disease progression. Researchers could use CRISPR to introduce specific mutations into the genomes of laboratory animals, such as mice or zebrafish, to better understand the pathology of certain diseases. CRISPR could also be used to target genes involved in inflammatory responses and scarring of the heart tissue, which are both key factors in many types of heart disease. Some cardiovascular conditions are also caused by specific genetic mutations, so scientists can use gene editing to treat these genetic cardiovascular disorders. Atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, also known as ASCVD, is the number one cause of deaths globally. And familial hypercholesterolemia, which is a genetically inherited condition of high cholesterol, is a subtype of ASCVD. And in 2017, there were an approximated 30 million cases of familial hypercholesterolemia, with 18 million of them being in the Asian subcontinent. Scientists have identified some genes, such as the PCSK9 gene, that can show natural resistance to heart disease as patients with genetic mutations in the PCSK9 gene don't develop high cholesterol. 
and the PCSK9 gene is responsible for cholesterol accumulation. So by turning it off, scientists could lower LDL cholesterol levels and thus reduce the risk of heart disease. There are many biotechnology companies that are using CRISPR to treat cardiovascular diseases, but here are a few. Intelia Therapeutics is developing a CRISPR-based therapy for transthyretin amyloidosis, which is a rare and fatal genetic heart disease that causes a buildup of amyloid proteins in the heart, nerves, and other organs. The therapy uses CRISPR to target and edit the TTR gene, which is responsible for producing the amyloid protein. University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center uses CRISPR to repair damaged heart tissue in mice. The research has shown that CRISPR can be used to induce the growth of new blood vessels in the heart, which can help improve heart function. Birth Therapeutics is developing a CRISPR-based therapy for high cholesterol, and the therapy uses CRISPR to edit the PCSK9 gene, which produces a protein that blocks the body's ability to remove LDL cholesterol from the blood. I'm going to be telling you a little bit more about what birth therapeutics is doing and how they do it. Researchers at birth therapeutics are using CRISPR to turn off the PCSK9 gene, and they do this through a process of four steps. First, they inject genome editing reagents via a blood infusion into the arm, and these reagents contain Cas9 base editors and a guide RNA. Then, the Cas9 messenger RNA and guide RNA are released into the cell and then go into the nucleus. And in the nucleus, the messenger RNA makes an adenine base editor, and the guide RNA binds the PCSK9 gene and brings the Cas9 base editors to the site of editing. Then it makes an adenine to guanine change that will turn off the PCSK9 gene. And this is significant because by turning off the PCSK9 gene, scientists can reduce the risk of plaque buildup in the arteries and thus reduce the risk of heart disease. Cardiovascular diseases present a major global health issue claiming millions of lives every year and costing billions of dollars in the aftermath. Through gene editing, scientists can use technological advancements such as CRISPR to increase the efficacy of treatments and to decrease mortality rates. CRISPR and gene editing can be revolutionary in providing long-term treatments for patients with heart-related conditions. Furthermore, advancements in gene editing will allow researchers to treat cardiovascular diseases in a more targeted and effective manner. These are my references. And I would like to thank the Global Health Leaders Conference at Johns Hopkins University for this opportunity and for my audience for dedicating their time to the presentation. Thank you. This is my contact information. Hmm.